because I got a banger that I need to talk about. Folks, listen up. Steve Garcia versus, I'm just going to call him Melk, right? Costa. This man right here. Two dangerous, dangerous fighters. And if you look at it, both of them, three and two in their last five. But this is what you need to know about, let me just talk about Costa first. I'm going to kind of go backwards. Shoot the box fighter. 65% finish rate, fun southpaw who's going to bring it in a very favorable matchup because he also has a grappling edge where a Steve Garcia, which the majority of his wins, first and second round knockouts, right? 11 knockout wins on his record. Um, listen, man, he's going to meet them in the middle and they about to bang it out. It's going to be a fun one. But the really, the, the thing that I want to mention about Steve Garcia is he's a dangerous fighter for Costa here because his strength of schedule on the regional scene was, was pretty legit, man. He fought UFC battle-tested fighters before they got into the UFC, but clearly the guys who made it. For example, Ricky Tercios, Chepe Mariscal, Ronnie Lawrence, those are all regional fighters. And Ronnie Lawrence, I believe he got cut. Chepe is still here with us. Tercios, ultimate fighter. Listen, Costa's got more experience. He's a shoot-the-box fighter. Um, lots of love about him, but don't sleep on Mean Machine Steve Garcia. So that's a banger alert. And if you do not tune into that one, I don't know what y'all are doing.